All right, so look, every time I go to Walmart, I be seeing this thing on the side when I'm about to check out, and it's just always fascinating me as to what it is and, like, how it works and all that stuff, but I finally purchased it. It was only, like, 10 bucks, 11 after tax, all that stuff, so it's actually not that bad for, I guess, 201, which it actually is 200 games in one, but it was just weird because, like, who is this for? It's not a Game Boy. It's portraying to be a Game Boy. And you can just tell that it's just a bunch of knockoff games. So what are, are they expecting that we do with this? It's by Mercury. And which is kind of weird because they also make uh, headphones and speakers and stuff. So I wouldn't expect them to actually make a game console. Or what we think is a game console. Uh, Arcade Fun is the name that they have given it. And it's just weird to me. I don't get it. But it does have a 3-inch LCD display. Uh, it has regular USB charging, not even USB-C, so that shows you how outdated it is. And it comes with an AV out port to plug it into the TV, which is completely outdated, seeing how that's gone and through the wind since 2009. It's all HDMI now. <clears throat> but either way, I bought it, and I wanted to check it out. So, yeah, you see, it, it, they gave you a few screenshots on the back of the box, six to be exact. Uh, they also got a fake link at the bottom, so expect some type of Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda knockoff on this console, and it's still fascinating as to why they made this. I want to understand that, because I wouldn't expect a speaker place, a speaker company to actually make a game console. It just doesn't make sense to me, and also, don't mind the camera angle. I just didn't have my tripod at the moment, but I will later on, which you'll see. So I'm actually about to just unbox it and show you all that comes in it. I was having a little bit of trouble, so I had to, like, cut a little bit out. Uh, the scissors weren't actually working with the tape, and the tape was working with scissors. I don't know. It was just difficult, and it was weird. I don't know. It's it's a weird setup and weird box. I don't even have this in. It comes just in some bubble wrap, and you see it slid right out. It comes not protected at all. It's just a whole jumble of a mess. I'm not expect. I was not expecting this bad of a quality of a box. I don't know, it's just not what I expected. But for 10 bucks, what can you really expect? And there's your AV outs. You can plug it right in to not even a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as you see, as you'll see in a few moments. Basic, generic, as ever, setup guide, start plus A, B, X, Y, there you go. That's literally it. It's garbage. It was a waste of paper. Waste of cutting a tree down, I'll tell you that. Uh, and actually shipped dead. I don't know if that's all of them, but mine was dead, so, yeah. And so I'm gonna charge it up here in a second or two to show you what it is. Uh, it also has, like, a light screen protector on it. At least it looks like it, and I'm gonna try to get it off. I don't know. It's just, like, a very air bubble in the left corner right here. That's why I'm trying to peel at it and pick it, but I kinda can't because I don't have nails. So I'm going to try to get it off a little bit later. But yeah, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to charge this up. Then I'm uh, The buttons feel really good for a $10 console, which was pretty decent, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to charge this up and then uh, I'll be back in a second to go through like a game or two with y'all to let y'all know what the games are like and see if it's knockoffs or actual games. See if they got licenses or something. Who knows? We'll figure it out here in a second. So, catch you on a second. Alright, so we're back. Uh, I got it charged. It was charging for a couple minutes or hours. It was charging for like an hour or two, so I'm actually turning it on. The screen's like really bright right now. I'm actually... That's the volume button. That's, that's the volume button. We're back. Uh, all right, so I had this charging for about a half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Uh, turn it on, little brew light, turns right on, pretty decent. Uh, no startup screen, nothing, it's just straight to the games. Uh, slight little volume scroll pad, it's kind of not good at all. Uh, I have to turn my ISO down or my shutter speed up. I did one of those. I actually have to turn my ISO down so that y'all can actually see the screen. That's how terrible of a screen it is. Because, like, I shouldn't have to turn it up, turn it down that much. But, yeah, the games, it's kind of like a cool little setup how they have it. It's just, like, all the games in a row. And then you could press, like, 
all the four like buttons like A B Y X and it like transfers it down like I buy fifty or like by twenty or something like that. I can't remember. I I don't know the exact like I'm not like counting it, but it's pretty cool if you want to get to like a certain game and you actually know which number it is. Like one eighty nine, you just press press it twice and boom, you're there. But yeah, the one thing I wish they did was like move the um titles and stuff over and then just like put like a little display of what the actual game is on the side of it to let us know what we're actually playing because a lot of these games are just randomly picked uh snow but snow bros uh they got excite bite on her which is actually pretty cool and they got uh which is pretty cool and they got a few other games that are actually just different names so they don't get like sued for them which was like pretty cool because you actually do get actual game boy games on here but you're not going to get sued for it. Uh, it's like this one. This is just, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The first one just on the game on this Mercury Arcade Fund, but it's just the NES version on this Game Boy knockoff, which I was not expecting because it actually is the full game. It's just a complete knockoff of it. But it still comes with Turtles, the drop down section, all that. As you see, it's actually the NES version. But it's just weird to me. I was not expecting an actual game on here that was like licensed and like produced and actually like a full set game. And that was actually on a Nintendo system. That might be a lawsuit here, but I don't know. Seeing how old this is, I don't think it actually will be. You see, it's like this is literally the same game as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's just under a different name or it's the Japanese version that they had. But yeah, a lot of these games are just knockoffs and just idiotic. And I don't understand what the purpose was of even having them on this console because it just doesn't make sense to me. Because why have all this value that you actually have and you're only selling it for $11 after taxes? So that's just my opinion, though. Uh, you press the middle button to go back to the home menu. Uh, and I it's, I mean, it's a pretty cool console. I mean, I just gave it to my kids. So that they can just mess around with it, but I mean, only it only lasts like a, like maybe half an hour, forty five minutes, even at full charge. So it's not even that, that powerful of a battery. Um, so yeah, there's me. They even have like Space Invaders and stuff in here too. So it's actually a, like I said, it's a pretty decent console. It's just I'm not understanding what this is for and who this is for. But ten dollars, if if you're really worried about ten dollars, then you probably shouldn't be playing games. Um, so yeah, Space Invaders, it's Space Invaders, just switched up a little bit, or their own version, but it's Space Invaders, like actual Space Invaders. There's a few other games in here, different, just, yeah, it's just, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it for this. Um, but for $10, I would not expect this bad or good of a quality, because it is a pretty decent quality for $10, but it's like, Nowadays, it's 2023, so what kid is me like, oh, mom, let me get this knockoff Game Boy instead of buying me an actual Game Boy with tons and tons of games that actually come with it. But this one only comes with 200, so you're very limited on the games you actually have. But like, if you're going to get bored with 200 games, then you kind of got to figure something out there because, yeah. But yeah, the battery, not that big, but it's also not that small. So it's pretty decent for what you get. 10 bucks. That's it. If you want it, go pick it up. If you don't, don't. That's that's it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.